But today in our RE lesson, we're going to be seeing if we can identify the importance of rules in our lives. And we're going to be thinking about that in relation to the Lord's Prayer. So to be successful today, we're going to see if we can explain how rules help us. We're going to see if we can understand the importance of our school rules. We're going to see if we can explain what happens if we don't follow the rules in our lives. And we're going to see if we can remember all three of our school rules and why they are important to us. So I want you to think about the aspects of the Lord's Prayer that we've learned about in previous weeks. What have we learned so far? Well, we've learned about three different parts so far. We've learned about give us this day our daily bread. We've learned lead us not into temptation. And we've learned the first bit, our Father, hallowed be thy name. So all of these bits are important in the Lord's Prayer for different reasons. This one, give us this day our daily bread is thinking about how um, God provides for us and there may be things that we maybe need or want but really God gives us all the stuff that we need to be able to survive um, but all the wanting things are just things that we could pray for. Lead us not into temptation we thought about last week um, that's thinking about um, obviously if there's something that we are tempted by that we want to do that we shouldn't do it's about how we can be avoiding that, how we can lead ourselves away from that distraction, and that temptation. And the Our Father bit at the beginning, it just shows that it's ready to speak to God. So we've learned about those parts in the, in, uh, of the Lord's Prayer in previous weeks. This week, we're going to be thinking about a different part. We're going to be thinking about this one. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. And this part of the Lord's Prayer shows that God is almighty, that the kingdom, the world belongs to him. And that we should show thanks for the world that he has created. And a way that we can do that is by showing that we are going to follow God's rules. What rules does God give us? Or what rules did God give to us? We learned about them before. We learned about the Ten Commandments, didn't we? In order to show our respects, we should follow God's rules. And he sent the Ten Commandments for us to follow. Sometimes we set other rules that are very important for us to live successful lives and happy lives. Can you think of any other rules that you follow? Why do you follow these rules? Is it just because you're being told to follow them? Or is it because they're important to live a good and respectful life? Have a think now about what our school rules are. We have three main school rules. Can you remember what they are? Pause the video for a second and have a think. Can you remember what our school rules are? Did you remember? So our main three school rules, one, we are mindful of our actions. That means that we think of others and make sure that what we do doesn't impact other people negatively. Two, we are responsible for our own learning. So the only way we're going to be good learners is if we actually put a bit of effort in and try. We're responsible for making sure that our learning goes very well. Obviously, you've got adults and other children in the class to help you, but you are responsible for making sure that you're going to do that learning and do really well at school. And the third one is we always include everyone. So making sure we don't ever leave anybody out. Now, why do you think those rules are so important for our school? What is it about those rules that's special? And why should we follow them if we are part of our school? Now, at the moment, we also have some additional school rules. And these are just rules which are there in place to help protect us during the COVID pandemic. So our additional rules are keeping your hands to yourself, giving everyone their own space, and please wash your hands. Why is it important to do all of those things right now? Maybe some of those things might even be relevant once the pandemic's over. Maybe some of those things are things that we should do, but particularly now when we're in school, to focus on making sure that these things are there to keep us safe. Now, thinking about rules and thinking about how they impact our lives, I'd like to see if you can answer these questions. I'd like to see if you can answer number one. Can you explain the importance of rules in your life? Why are they important to you? What's special about them? Number two, what particular rules might Christians follow and why? Number three, how do Christians praise God? That's thinking about the Lord's Prayer as a whole. And number four, why do you think Christians believe that they should praise God? So have a think about those questions, uh, write some four sentence answers and then uh, share them with me on DB Primary so we can have a look at the work.